many bike riders get hurt on the roads in the UK? Far too many. If you've ridden bikes for a long time or you know a lot of bike riders, you will know people who have been hurt. Almost all of whom have been hit by a vehicle. There's very few instances where a bike goes into a car and it's the bike rider's fault. Sometimes, but the bulk of the time it is out of the bike rider's hands. We're all very familiar with the arguments that the UK roads aren't set up well enough for bike riders. There's precious diddly we can do about that short term. A key problem that I foresee is that drivers and other road users are not set up mentally for the volume of bike riders there are these days. Today I'm sat doing my training session, completely sensory deprived. I've not got any visual stimulus, I've not got any audio stimulus. The only noise I can hear is this. And the reason I'm doing that is that every time I've climbed on my bike in the last three weeks, the only thing I can think about is a friend of mine who's in a coma from being hit by a car. Weeks he's been in a coma. Not been able to hear anything, not been able to see anything, not been able to communicate with his family, not be able to go on a bike ride. He's the lucky one. His riding partner that day died at the scene, hit by a car. Now I'm not here to point fingers on exactly what happened and whose fault that actual incident was. That's for professionals and the police to look into. My point is very simple. Too many people get hurt riding their bikes in the UK. When we used to live in London, it was a regular occurrence that a commuter traveling to work would die from a collision with a car or a truck or a bus. That's not fair. I think until it strikes you very personally, very close, it's hard to see the bigger problem. And I think there is a bigger problem. I think there is a huge population of drivers out there who maybe don't know a bike rider, who don't have a friend who's a bike rider. Perhaps they haven't ridden a bike themselves since they were young. They don't think for that extra moment about the fact there could be a bike rider round the next corner. And that's where the danger lies. When drivers are too complacent, any small error gets punished. And I don't mean them being punished, I mean the person they hit being punished. I think the police are way behind the curve on this problem themselves. We'd actually been talking with the police force recently to help them out with a campaign around cycling and safety and how to be better road users. And they had, they had some great ambition and some great desire to do some better campaigns, to engage people and talk to people like people, as opposed to communicating to them like a police force when nobody pays any attention. And unfortunately, that campaign got bogged down in red tape. It's not even going to get made. I can't help but feeling completely frustrated every time somebody else gets hurt just innocently riding their bike. I can't help but think every time I get on my bike about my friend lying in a coma and his friend who's no longer with us. So today I'm doing just that. I'm sat here on my bike just thinking about it. I've got no other distraction. I don't care about stats. I don't care what it looked like. I'm not asking anything from you listening to this, except for just to think about it yourselves. Can we be more vigilant out on the roads? How can we hold other road users to account better? And that goes both ways. If there are bike riders being dicks, they need to be told. But the weight of the problem sits with a person with an accelerator pedal and a steering wheel controlling a two-ton vehicle. There's no excuse not to be ultra-cautious all of the time when you're operating a car. 
because the impact you can have is just enormous.